Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening, teacher. Um, Hello. I'm better today from my car. Yes, what? I can see that. <laughs> yes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, lady. Good evening. Let's see. That's better, lady, because uh, now we are going to speak a little bit, right? Yes, it's good for me. <laughs> yeah, it's better. Okay, very good. I, I'm glad to hear that. Let's see, Katia, Mon okay, Katia Monterosa, thank you for coming on time. We are about to begin about speaking, right? We already finished with um, also reading, the reading part, what was kind of difficult, and the listening part, right? How do you feel the listening? It was easy, it was difficult for you, these practices that we had before? It's kind of difficult. It was kind of difficult, right? Yeah, yeah, TOEFL is kind of difficult because it's not like a regular class, right? It's just like a specific specific things that they are going to uh, check and also the time, right? With timing and everything, it is kind of difficult, but we are going to try right now with speaking. We're going to try to help each other. So um, in case that you need any support in the future, or if you need uh, somebody to practice with, right? Because speaking, right? If you practice with somebody else, it's better. Um, we are going to learn how to do that in groups. We are going to work in groups. We are going to try to speak or try to get feedback uh, with each other. So we will try to do that today. Let's see. Okay, good evening. Let's see who else is here. Uh, good evening, Sarah. How are you? Hi, teacher. Um, I am all right. All right. Thank you. And you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking, Sarah. Okay. Sorry, uh, but uh -huh. I can't. I I can. Uh, no, I have a problem with my. I don't know with my Zoom. Mm hmm. But I don't know what happened with this. But are you are you able to to see my screen? Because some people they have problems. They are not able to see my screen. No, I can see. You're able to see. Okay, perfect. perfect. Yes, no I problem. can see your screen. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Good evening, Marielos. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, thanks. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Are you ready to start the speaking part for the TOEFL test? So so. <laughs> so sorry. Yes. So sorry. Okay. No problem because we are going to help each other. We are going to know the structure and everything. So you don't have to worry about that, okay? Have you checked? Okay. Have you worked in the platform already? Did you work in the spe speaking section already? Mm, no. No. I okay. was checking some of the videos related to the speaking. Yes, about the speaking part. There are some videos, right? And also some practices also. They were um, in the speaking part. You will be able to see this kind of videos about the challenges some recommendations also that we are going to speak today. And also uh, you will see like some structures here about the speaking uh, section, like the questions, right? Before they used to be six questions. Now they are only four questions. So it's kind of easier, right? Kind of easier. So uh, we are going to start right now speaking about the, the speaking part, right? So let me see here. Uh, after the class, I, I, I think that I haven't sent you the, the listening, right? The presentation. You don't have the listening part, right? The presentation? Not yet, right? You haven't received it, right? Okay, so I will send it to you today with um, the information or the material that we were using to practice. So I will send you that part today. And I will send you at the end of this week, the speaking, right? So we are going to check right now the speaking part. So this is according to the ETS, the company that creates the TOEFL. This is the speaking questions, right? The section. We have four questions, right? 
the question one is an independent question, right? It's an independent task. So it's your own idea, right? They will ask you, what is your, your opinion about this? What is your experience about this? What do you think about this? So that's what they are going to ask you. And you will answer no normally, naturally as possible, right? Very confident, very fluent, and that's it. They will give you 15 minutes to prepare, right? They will ask you. And then after that, they will tell you, you have 45 seconds to answer. And that's it, right? It's not that difficult, right? Yes, no, it's not difficult. It's not difficult. Now we have two other two, right? Questions from two to four. Integrated speaking tests. So this requires you to combine your English language skills. So this is the listening and speaking or listening, reading and speaking. So you are going to combine everything. And then you will uh, provide your response, your opinion, right? Like in the classroom, right? Like, uh, for example, in, in English classes, they tell you, okay, I'm going to play a listening. You are going to listen and then you will tell me what you think about this or what you understand. And then you listen, ah, teacher, this was about this. this was, so it's the same, right? Or I, I will give you a reading and you will tell me, you will tell me what you think about the reading, right? And the reading is about, for example, politics, right? Or I don't know, science. And then I, I, I understand this, I understand that, and I think it's good or I think it's bad, etc. So that's it. That is the speaking part, right? So they will give you for this part, like 15 or 30 seconds and 60 seconds for you to answer. And that's it. So at the end, um, well, it says here that to respond, you'll speak into a microphone and your responses will be recorded if it is with a computer or you will talk to a person, right? They are. They also have people like teachers that they will score your speaking, right? Also, uh, you this will take around 17 minutes. And after those 17 minutes, that's it. And uh, uh, you can download the rubrics from the speaking score and uh, the scale is from zero points to 30 points. And it's very simple, right? I have some videos here. This is an example, a video uh, with examples that you can check later. And this is the structure for the test. We are going to study one question per day, okay? Vamos a estudiar una pregunta por día. So today is going to be question number one, tomorrow question number two, then number three, number four. And, but today I, I just wanted to, to explain to you some details. And at the end of the week, I will give you other details, other like advice, right? If you want to practice with the advice. And also every day I will give you some tips for each each um, question, but actually they are almost the same tips, right? It's almost the same because it's just speaking, right? So this is general information. What is fluency, right? Fluency is speaking with accuracy, natural speed, and it refers to speaking with accuracy and natural speed, right? What does the speaking section measure? It measures your ability to convey ideas. How long you will have to prepare your response for question number one, 15 seconds, and then 45 seconds to speak. So it's not like a regular conversation because normally you don't provide like 45 seconds response. Like for example, if I ask you, what do you think about um, I don't know, um, travel into your job, right? Is it good? Is it bad for you? Or do you prefer working at home or working in an office? And probably you will say, I, I prefer working in an office because it's more, more, it it's easier for me, right? I have everything there and that's it, right? Or I prefer working at home because it's more comfortable and you don't have to travel and it's, it's better for me, right? It's better for, for my family and for my economy. And that's it, right? And then what happened with the rest, right? Tenemos que hablar un poco más. We have to speak 45 seconds around that. So you have to be checking the time. Um, it says, what are the response features which will help you get a better score? Clear and fluid speech, good pronunciation, natural pace, good intonation. What will you be evaluated on? Delivery, language use, and topic development. So we are going to check that in a moment. And we are going to um, work with this, right? This is just for you to work at home. 
this is just like a rubric that you can use if you want to practice with yourself and you need to answer these questions and you can write notes. For example, did I speak for 42 to 45 seconds? Yes or no? Was my introduction 12 seconds or less? So introduction, 12 seconds. That's it, right? Did I have enough time to include a short conclusion, seven seconds? If you have a conclusion, that's okay. If you don't have it, that's okay. Did I look at the clock to monitor my time at least twice? Did I include at least two transitional words or phrases? We are going to see very quickly the transitional words because you already know them. And if you don't know them, we are going to check them really, really, really fast. Did I speak at smooth and even pace for the majority of my response? So everything has to be natural, right? And did I speak in a natural and conversational tone? No robot voice. So natural and conversational is like, like we are doing it right now because some people, they get really nervous. Se ponen muy nerviosos. Entonces, they, they speak like, um, I believe that everything, um, in my opinion, is really okay. And th then it's not like very natural, right? So you need to avoid robot voice. And did I elaborate on the topic with a well-developed personal example or anecdote? So in... Question number one, you can uh, talk about your life, your experience, an anecdote, your family, in your job, right? Ah, in my job, I used to do this, and for that reason, I believe this and this and this, right? So how to prepare for the TOEFL speaking at home? So first of all, you need to identify your weakness. What is your weakness? Is your structure? Like, for example, your response doesn't have an introduction, then... Um, uh, the content, right, of your response, and then the end, right? Is your vocabulary and grammar, for example, uh, you say people is, or he, or I don't know, common problems, right? And vocabulary, you don't use a lot of vocabulary, or is your speech music, your pronunciation, right? I cannot pronounce the words, I mispronounce it. What is the problem? That is the first thing that you need to identify. Okay, good evening, Miguel, Angel. Good evening, let's see, Myra and Maritza. Okay, we are about to begin. Mm -hmm. This is just general information, okay, for the speaking, general information. So the grading criteria will be the structure, topic development, that is core coherence. You have to be coherent, vocabulary and grammar. So vocabulary depth, vocabulary diversity, and grammatical accuracy. So you can read here if your score is low. This is the reason why. For example, in structure, your response your response lacks structure, right? You don't you don't go anywhere. You are talking just to talk, right? You don't convey any idea. So if you want to say something like, if I ask you, um, do you think that you can uh, make friends in your in your job? Is it a good idea to have friends in your job? Yes or no? And then if you just, ah, yeah, friends are great. I friends are very useful. Friends are these friends are that, so you're not going anywhere, right? It doesn't uh, have coherence. And you can see here, like also with your vocabulary and grammar, and also speak music and pronunciation. This is the third part. So that is the speaking rate. How many words can you say? Like sustained speech also. Pause frequency. Sometimes with native speakers, because they already know, or if you are with a person, uh, that will rate your speech. They already know that you this that, that this language is your second language, right? So that you will have an accent, but they also will uh, rate you like how how near you are from a native speaker, right? Like the pauses, right? You made and everything. Repetitions. If you use the same word multiple times, right? Response length, right? Um, if you need to include more words, right? For example, if you spoke only 30 seconds, right? You need to talk more, right? So probably they, they will ask you, that's it? That is your response? That is your final response? Yes, yes, that's it. Okay, okay, and they will grade you, right? That's it. Distribution of pauses, right? So if you pause in a, a natural a natural times, it means that, for example, you're talking and, for example, I'm talking about my family, right? And uh, my family is really good and it's really happy and I live with them. And I I believe that we, live, we love each other. So if you uh, pause in the middle of a sentence, that is not natural. It's better to pause at the end of a sentence, right? Rhythm, right? The syllable stress. For example, for native speakers, how, how do you pronounce 
the word interesante in English? How do you say interesante? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. exactly. So if I, for example, I'm talking and I'm saying that is really interesting. Interesting or interesting, right? Interesting. So probably some people might say interesting because it's an either over there, right? Interest, that's how you spell it. That's how you write it. But it's not interesting. It's interesting or interesting, right? It's really interesting, right? No, it's interesting, right? Interesting. So we have different sounds in English and Spanish. So we need to uh, talk like um, uh, as close as a native speaker as we can, right? And vowels, right? because we have some vowel sounds that they we don't have in Spanish. So it's the same, right? We have to resemble to a native speaker. And also, right, decide you would like to focus on today. So set your goals uh, for you to practice at home because these classes, I know that they won't be enough for you to prepare. So probably you will need more time. So set your goals. For example, at the beginning, if you want to uh, include, in my opinion, in your response, say, uh, try to talk about uh, a response and you say, in my opinion, or that's an interesting, an interesting question. Well, so include that in your response and try to practice that. Or if you want to include a personal example uh, to expand your answer, try to work only in that. So you will go step by step. Also, if you want to uh, vocabulary and grammar, right? For example, if you say a lot of, uh, a lot of the word good, right? If you say good, 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 Try to avoid it, right? Try to practice and practice without using the, try to use synonyms, right? Or if I want to use new phrases, right? Personally, personally speaking, right? Or to be honest, right? To be honest, I would like to talk about this or I feel in this way about this, right? So try to use that. And also speech, music, and pronunciation, right? For example, if I cannot pronounce the, the, the word f, the, because we don't have that, that sounds, right? Th, that the or they or thick or thin right so try to look for those words and try to practice those words and also try to link words together we, we, in english we don't say in my opinion we don't say we say in my opinion right in my opinion i believe that everything is going to be okay in the future because so try to link the words right don't say in my opinion i believe that uh, in this case it will be better this because so try to link everything right don't say like in my, so in my opinion i believe that it will be better this case because so they will grade that and uh, also another recommendation is record and transcribe your response as natural as possible try to record yourself it will be awful the first time right uh, with your cell phone you can record yourself and everything but try to listen to yourself right probably the first time you will say oh my god i sound horrible or i don't like my voice but it's it's good right and also if you try to transcribe your response you will be able to see really clear there like the the, the mistakes that you are doing that you're making right that probably when you read you can analyze your response so that would be better for you, right? If you record yourself and you transcribe, right? For example, um, let's see one, one, one example, right? Um, it says, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Children and teenagers should not be allowed to use any social media until they are 18 years old. How will you respond to that uh, question, Marielos? Excuse me, teacher. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, I agree with this uh, problem, uh, with this issue, because um, I think the uh, children, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's kind of difficult. It's kind of, so you yes. have to practice and practice. I don't, you have a blog, right? You have a blockage. Yeah. So, um, so in this case, what you have to do is just to prepare yourself. And because they will tell you, I will give you 15 seconds for you to prepare your response. And what are you going to do in those 15 seconds, right? Like children generation will be allowed to use any social media until they are 18 years old. 
what can you think in 15 seconds, right? Okay, and then they will say, go ahead. <laughs> and then you can stumble, you can, right? You have to prepare your ideas, right? For example, um, another way to, this is like uh, a transcript, right, of a response. Like this is the, the model, right? This is like in a perfect world, we will say this, right? This is, you don't have to compare to this because you are trying to practice, right? We are practicing here. But for example, this is a model, right? This is, it says, well, you know, this is an interesting question because I think social media has both positive and negative effects. Personally speaking, on the positive side, I live in Japan and it helps me to stay close with my friends and my family. We use Facebook, Instagram to share pictures, update events and just news in general about our lives. And, you know, that makes me happy to see my family growing and doing things. And people can also see that is going on with my family here as well. On the negative side, I think here are probably more negative effects on people's happiness for social media. So you can contrast ideas, right? So this is this is like a model response. You don't have to compare that, right? So this is the way that they expect us to, to, to sound, right? But this is just an example. So um, if you want to, to do this, right? You need to, for example, let's see us and then it's, you will always uh, you will always be doubting with yourself with is this what a native speaker will say is is there some part of my pronunciation that sounds strange so that's good if you record yourself this will help you with that and also if you have a few options uh, add one or two sentences somewhere in your own response or repeat it again read read each sentence of the response aloud and replace uh, 10 words in shadow. Okay, so these are some recommendations, right? For example, shadowing is um, listening to someone that you like how this person speak, right? Or a video. And you can transcribe the, um, the response. For example, this is a response and you play it, right? And then uh, it says, well, you know, this is an interesting question because I think social media has both positive and negative effects. And then you repeat it. Well, you know, this is an interesting idea because blah, 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 blah. And then you, then you repeat the same thing, right? So that is shadowing. So that's how you pronounce or that how you better your pronunciation. That is just a recommendation, right? So you can do this in order to uh, better uh, your intonation, your speech, your fluency. So you will uh, solve these, these questions in this way. And also, how, how can we uh, type or response, right? Uh, I, I'm not telling you to record and then start writing, right? Because you can do this automatically with, uh, if you use Google Docs, you can do this. There is um, an option there. I will show you in a video how to use it. So you can be speaking and the, you will see um, that the response will be written there, right? It will, it will start writing. And also, if you don't know how to pronounce a word, you can go to you English. So, you, for example, if you go to youenglish.com, you can, for example, type uh, interesting, right? How do you pronounce interesting? So you write interesting there and you will see a video of people pronouncing this word in a conversation or in a speech. So you can go there, you English, and you will be able to, to listen to it. Oh, and this will be the shadow win. So the shadow win uh, is perfect for anyone who discovered one of the following weaknesses. So if you, you're speaking rate, so you don't have many words, right? Or if you uh, feel bad with sustained speech, or if you pause frequency or repetition, response length, distribution of pauses, rhythm vowels, if you have problems with that, shadow win is good. And uh, um, this is what I just mentioned. This is the, um, the information. For example, if you have a speaking rate, sustained speech, pass frequency, distribution of pauses, response length, all of these weaknesses are connected to your inability to link words together and speak in one breath. So you have to link words, right? Work on trying to speak and breathe at the same time as the speaker. If you have trouble, try two, three times before moving on. Your goal is not to be perfect. So remember this, you are not going to be perfect. You don't look for perfection, right? 
you are practicing and you're trying to better yourself. So you have to have awareness of this. And for that reason, you have to remember these goals every day and practice every day. So your goal is to gain more knowledge is to, uh, as to how native speakers connect words. This will be very difficult at first. Just relax, spend no longer than five minutes on this activity. So shadowing, five minutes. That's it, right? Every day. Repetitions, right? If you repeat a lot of words, right? Um, so um, this can be two things, lack of confidence or lack of vocabulary. So if you repeat a lot of things, probably you know a lot of words, but you are not confident enough, right? So while you shadow, identify at least one word or phrase that is synonym of a word or phrase that you repeat often. So planning incorporating this into your response uh, tomorrow or the day of your exam. Rhythm. Uh, for example, a rhythm is the syllable stress, what, or what I was saying, right? Why is syllable stress, right? For example, how, how, how do we say padres in English? Padres. How do we say padres? Parents. In parents. parents. Exactly. Parents, right? Parents. We don't say parents, right? parents so the rhythm of your your speech can be affected by the syllable stress so when you shadow focus on which words and sounds are stressed do not worry about your pronunciation or speaking speed right now focus instead on stressing the same word or sound as the native speaker remember when you start practicing uh you're going if you focus on the vocabulary probably your rhythm will be effective or if you focus on the rhythm, probably the pronunciation will be affected. So with the time, you will be getting better and better and better. Vowels, also vowels. When you have a poor vowel score, the first step is to identify the vowel sound, right? As I was saying before, interesting, right? We don't, we say interesting, we don't say interesting, right? Or interesting, right? Interesting. So exaggerate the sounds to help your mouth find the right placement it will be awkward and uncomfortable, but just become aware of the problem and devote five minutes a day to this practice and it will be led to your improvement. So this is how you can improve. I have to give you this right now before practicing. So in this way, you will be, you will know how to do it and when to do it and et cetera, right? So uh, I will um, talk about this later. Probably... Once we finish, this will be like a short review about this, about repetitions and rhythm. And we can, uh, for example. Teacher, gonna... I have a question. Yes. Can you see, uh, can you send the link to uh, the jewenglish.com? Yes, yes, I can. I will send it to you. So youenglish.com, so you can pronounce this one, right? Yes, I will send it to you, and I will send you the presentation. But at the end of the week, today I will send you the one that uh that, that we were uh, practicing last week, right? The listening. I'm sorry, I forgot it during the weekend, but I will do it after the class. I promise. And I will send you the Thank links. You. Okay, no problem, Sarah. So this is the grading criteria. Uh. The way that I will grade you or I will grade your response is this, right? Speaking rate, sustained speech, pause frequency, repetitions. All of that is fluency, right? Fluency. Also rhythm and vowels. That is pronunciation, right? Your rhythm, your stress, right? And let's see what else we have. This will be for the last class. And these are some criteria, right? This is how they uh, grade you. General description, for example, if the response fulfills the demands of the task with a most of minor lapses, incompleteness, is highly intelligible and exhibits sustained coherent discourse, right? So if you answer the question in a logical or coherent way, right? You never went off topic and you were easy to, for the listener to follow. Delivery, the delivery is if you spoke in a calm, cool, in natural manner the listener could understand almost everything you said right so if you if they understand everything if you talk fluently with confidence that's okay that is delivery language use you were able to speak in a natural way while also varying your sentence structure you didn't sound nervous and you didn't rely on simple vocabulary 
and topic development. You follow a structure and show how one idea led to another. You use at least three transition words. And we will talk about transition words in a moment. This is um, an example response, right? That we are going to analyze later. And this is the word response. For example, in the question one, that is just 45 seconds. This is the one that we are going to practice today. You have to say around 120 words. In question two, three, and four, that we are going to combine uh, listenings and reading will be 60 seconds. You have to speak for 60 seconds and you have to say around 150 and 140 words, okay? And um, this is practice using popular words with more than one syllable that are often included in your TOEFL and speaking responses. So try to use this kind of words, right? For example, university, however, disagrees, passage, example. It's not an example, right? It's example, example. Reading, listening, remember, right? So try to use this kind of words, not short words, to practice your pronunciation. And these are recommendations also. You can use introductory phrase, phrases for you to uh, introduce your idea. For example, I believe, personally speaking, to be honest, I've never thought about this before, but I have to say that. So this is like introductory phrases, right? This is for question one. This is for question two. This is for question three. And this is for question four. So uh, these are just some examples that you can check later, right? So to introduce your idea. And also we have conclusion phrases, right? For example, in question number one, we can say, so that's why, or as you can see, or to make a long story short, right? So that is uh, some conclusion phrases for each of the questions. And these are the transitional words. You already know these are connectors, right? And you can use this also for writing. You, it will be useful also for the writing. It says as well, besides if you want to add an idea, argument, cause and effect, contrast, right? Despite, however, on the contrary, on the other hand, illustration, right? Space, summary, and time, right? Finally, first following. And um, normally when you speak, it's not needed or it's not very recommendable to say, for example, if I asked you, is it's good to have friends in your job or is a good idea or is a bad idea? What do you think, right? And uh, normally it's not very good to say, uh, yes, it's a good idea because first, and then you say the idea. Second, then the idea. Third, then the idea. No, that is not natural, right? That is not how we talk. So it's better to use this kind of as well. And in addition, in other words, try to use this kind of uh, phrases not not, no, not not it's not a very good idea to use first second third like sound like a robot so you can use these phrases and these words do you have any question right now preguntas questions no, no questions <laughs> okay I no questions. i know i know it's a lot of information yeah, a lot of difficult <laughs> I know it's a lot of information, <laughs> but little, this is well, for you to have it and then review it right once you have time. So this is. I feel like uh, I'm not in teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know that is, but it's not for you to feel frustrated. It's just for you to know your weaknesses, right, and strengths because you already know how to speak English. Just saying, como hablar inglés. So don't feel like that. Don't feel like I feel like I am going to fail. Or I cannot speak, I cannot write, I cannot listen, I, can, I cannot do anything. No, you know how to do it. You just need to practice a little bit more. That's it. That's it. So um, I'm going to show you the, just in case that you have any any doubt about the ETS, um, ETS example, for example, here in the link, I, I left, I, I, I'm leaving the, the link here in the presentation. And this is how they explain every, every um, question, right? This is question number one, for example, right? Are you able to listen? Hi, I'm Michael from ETS, and welcome to Inside the TOEFL Test. Are you able to listen? Can you listen to it? Yes, I yes. can. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, yes, so in your free time, you can watch this video, and as you can see here, this person is going to talk about the question one only. So we are going to practice the question one, right? 
For example, I will leave you this information here. Just we are going to check it really fast because we need to practice, right? So you have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak your answer. Now, 15 seconds is actually longer than you think. And if you feel like you need more time, just remember that professors at university aren't going to give you more time than that to answer questions in class. Now let's look more closely at what the independent speaking questions will be asking you to do. In question one, you'll be presented with two situations or opinions. You will be asked which you prefer, and you need to explain your choice. Here's an example. Some people think it is more fun to spend time with friends in restaurants or cafes. Others think it is more fun to spend time with friends at home. Which do you think is better? So you see, it's a very simple question, right? Question number one is really simple. So you have to just provide your point of view, right? So here is just providing information about use preparation, time to organize your thoughts, take notes, right? If you want, you can write notes. I know that it's just 15 minutes, but probably just to organize your ideas, if it is good for you, if you feel that you don't need it, it's okay, right? Uh, also, it says don't memorize responses before the test. So try to sound natural, right? That is just a recommendation that this person is giving. Uh, memorize responses will lower your score, probably because you will sound like a robber or you're trying to remember a response, right? And, and I will, like we are going to listen to a, a response here. And this is how it is uh, graded, right, your response. Let's listen to this. Variations depending on the question, raters will be looking for three main things. First, delivery. Your speech needs to be clear and fluid with good pronunciation. The pace or speed of your speech should be natural and you should have good sounding intonation patterns. Second, language use. This is mainly how you use grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. And third, topic development. This is mainly how fully you answer the question, how clearly you express your ideas, and how you can connect one idea to the next in a way that is easy to follow. Now let's listen to an example of a speaking response that received the highest score of four out of four. This is responding to the question about spending time with friends. I actually only spend time with my friends in restaurants and cafes, uh, almost never at home because um, my apartment is very small and there is just almost nothing to do. Um, on the outside and um, in cafes and restaurants it's much more uh, there are more people, the atmosphere is usually good and maybe there's some music playing or we usually meet to discuss things and meet other people and meet people we do not know possibly. There's always a chance to get to know someone and it's always exciting. For me it is much more exciting than just staying at home um, and in the, in the environment that I know and I'm familiar with. I think that's boring. Now let's look. Do you see? The response is sure, right? It's like 45 seconds, that's it, right? So supposedly this response is 10, it's a four out of four, right? It's a good response, right? Because of the delivery, the use of the vocabulary and everything, according to this person, right? Full so, why he doesn't meet his friends at his home, because his apartment is too small and there's almost nothing to do there. And he gets four. For more details about how the independent speaking responses are scored, See the speaking scoring rubrics on the TOEFL website. Practice speaking continuously for 45 seconds or more. So these are just some tips that he provides at the end of the video. You can check it later and uh, you can get more information about it, right? Tomorrow we are going to check uh, question two. To pr Sorry. I'm sorry, uh, just let me take some water. I'm sorry.
Me lo pasó, lady. <risa> Sorry. Me pasó la tos, lady. No. Ok. No. <risa> no. Ok. So, let me see. Okay, we are 12. Let's see. We are going to form groups, and this is the way that we are going to practice right now because of the time. And I will give you, I will give you some questions, right? Just let me create the groups right now. Okay, I will create four groups, okay? Group number one will be Lady, Miguel, Angel, and Milton, okay? I will give you around five minutes for you to prepare, and I want you to help each other, okay? So what you're going to do is just to provide ideas and how can you respond. I want three different responses. Probably one can be the introduction. The second one can be like examples or ideas, right? Contrasting ideas. And the last person will be talking about the conclusion, right? To conclude the idea. So the first group will be Lady, Miguel, and Milton. I will give you your uh, question right now. So you will have some time to prepare. Okay, question number uh, one for group number one is, would you prefer to work one job your entire life or to switch jobs every fi five years? Explain your response with details and examples. So that is your uh, question for group number one. For group number two will be, Katia, Maritza, and Sarah, Sarah, sorry. So for Katia, Maritza, and Sarah will be, uh, the question is, some people prefer to read physical books made from paper, while others prefer to read electronic books on a digital device. Which do you prefer and why? So that is for Katia, Maritza, and Sarah. Uh, group number three will be Irena, Myra, and Sergio. Your question is, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Coworkers make the best friends. Provide details and examples to explain your opinion. So that is for number three, Irena, Mayra, and Sergio. And for group number four, we just have Juan Jose and Marielos. Your question is, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Video games have a positive impact on children. Provide reasons and examples to support your stance. So that is for group number four, Juan Jose Avalos and Marielos Moran. I will create the group right now and I will give you just three to five minutes, okay? You can join right now and start providing ideas. Sorry, you repeat uh, question group one. Group one is, um, would you prefer to work at one job your entire life? or to switch jobs every five years? That is your, uh, your question. 
Do you have any question right now? Another question? No. Okay, so join the group and try to provide three different answers, okay? And I already gave you the structure, that introduction, example, and conclusion, or you can do it the way you want, okay? Go ahead, please. Join the groups, please. question hi hi guys Hello. hey i may have do with a question hey the do you listen yes yeah i have i have do uh, when I'm, i i i Good evening. Teacher. The question, but have I the don't, question I don't here. finish. Good. Uh, the teacher sent us the question. Would you prefer to work? Okay. If we can. Yes. The chats. Would you prefer to work at, at one job your entire life and life, or to switch job every five years? Mm -hmm. I listen six years, but it's five years. So, one, uh -huh. one life. Entire life. Jobs every five years. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. It means like if you now are working like, uh, to say an example, maybe as a, I don't know, um, a in business administration or something. And later uh, uh, in, in the future, you change. Is is in my opinion, two of them are interesting, interesting, but for me is one job, uh, your entire life. Of course, because, really. because uh, you have a savage, uh, you know uh, the persons. Uh, no, it's, it's crazy or, or aventure or, or problematic is the chance. In... Now that we have cleared the question, we can start. Yes, every five years is is it's a problematic because it's process adapt adaptation uh, age period. In my opinion, I don't know for you, lady. Okay. Um, in my opinion. What about you, lady? Sorry? What about you? In my case, in my personal opinion, okay, if I can have the possibility to have a, a job like working my complete life, Maybe it's gonna be like kind of uh, boring, but at the same time, it's gonna be like good because when you are doing something, uh, you are. Yes, because it's, it's expensive sometimes. Yes, it's expensive to, to uh, buy it. To buy books. To buy books. Yes, yes, they are expensive. They yes, I agree. And when they are new, it smells very well. 
Yes, they smell very well. But but when you finish uh, reading the book, what do you do with the book? They are in your house. They are uh, they are uh, taking space in your in your house. In my or bed you and them? my uh, niece. Uh -huh. uh, she she asked me for the book. You give give her the books. Yeah. Ah, okay. In my case, I read the book in my house because it's more it's more relaxed for me. It's re and that's nice. I think it's not it's nice, but not always you can find people like that. Oh, definitely you're right. Uh, especially when you find people, uh, honest, uh, honest people, and sincerely people. I think it could be a big possibility that you could find uh, a very good and excellent friend. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is is when when they have uh, video games. So sometimes I have uh, seen that the father that don't put attention to the children, um, uh, um, there are one tablet and the tablet used for to entertainment because okay. the father don't have attention to the children because are very busy. And the okay. children, uh, excellent for the children because <laughs> entertaining, but it's not educative. <laughs> It's not educated uh, games, okay? Okay, we have to prepare the, the examples. Do you have an I, example? I, I remember that one of the or the people, the, the inventor of a video game, I don't remember who, but uh, it, in inventing the videos, he invented many programs of video. And he said that never, never give um, uh, videos to her children. Never, never. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Did you prepare your answer? Were you able to to finish? Are you ready to 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 answer the question? Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Well, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> more or less. Right. Remember that each of you will talk around one minute. Okay, I will give you around one minute or forty-five seconds. So. So that's that's how your response is going to be like that long, not between the two, right? But each of you, cada uno va a hablar 45 minutos, okay? What? Yeah, sorry, 45 segundos, sorry, no 45 minutos, 45 segundos, okay? Around 45, 45 seconds, right? 42, something like that. Do you feel ready or do you think that you need more time? Do you feel ready? I need more time. I need more time. <laughs> <laughs> you need more time. Okay, yes, because we I, have was, no <laughs> I was listening to you. Uh, remember that I'm, I'm I'm preparing you because you already know how to speak English. Ya saben cómo hablar inglés. But I'm preparing In you English. for... No, <laughs> I know, I know that, yes, you can speak slowly, but not that slowly. You have to speak like you normally speak. The only thing that you will speak in English. But I, I was listening to you 
and I was listening that you were uh, like sharing ideas and everything, but you have to prepare your response really quickly, right? Like for example, a for example, if I am Irena, I, I am in the group with Irena and Miguel. I will say, okay, Irena, what, what do you want to say? The 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 introduction, the ideas, or the mm. conclusion? I I will say the introduction, okay. And you, Miguel Angel, are the example. Okay, I will say the conclusion, okay. So what are you going to say, Irena? I, I will begin with this, 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 and this. Is that okay, or do you think it is? Um, it's too short or can you give me more ideas? Like, uh, you can say this, you can say this, right? You can say that. Okay, Miguel, you can give this example, right? And try to create like more, like more examples like this or contrast the ideas, okay? And how can I conclude the, 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 the answer, right? For example, video games. Ah, you can say that it is good because you have experienced that and, and uh, you have, I, I don't know, very good results. It, it doesn't affect you in your daily life, something like that. Okay, okay, so you shared your ideas and then you're ready, okay? You're not going to say, okay, we are going to write the response. Okay, I, I, Irena, write your response right? because you won't have time in the test, right? You will say, okay, you have 15 seconds to prepare your response, okay? And you will have 15 seconds, right? So you can write some words, some words. Pueden escribir algunas notas como palabritas, ¿verdad? a cinco palabras, siete palabras para que ustedes tengan una idea. Primero voy a decir esto, 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 esto. And at the end, you say your response with a lot of words, right? And then um, you will have to speak 45 seconds. As you can see, uh, the class is finished already. So we are not going to be able to salvado por la campana. We are not going to be able to participate. But tomorrow, eso va a ser lo primero que vamos a hacer. Les voy a, no sé si quieren que les comparta las preguntas. Yes, el grupo. yes, 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 please. yes, please. please. So you can, I, okay, I won't give you more time tomorrow. So tomorrow we are going to join and with the groups, remember, recuerden con quién están, porque, verdad, remember that. Um, yes. And uh, traten de hacer la, las preguntas, okay, try to share your ideas during the day if okay. you want to do it or you can create your, your own response, try to practice, right? 45 seconds at least, and try to create your response, okay? Uh, this will be the first the, the first class for speaking, so I will give you time, okay? And I will see you tomorrow, and hopefully you will put into practice some of the recommendations that I gave you, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> tomorrow, thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we have a nice night. Uh, yes. Good night, teacher. Okay, good night, good night. Good night. guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hey, everybody, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Send the questions on WhatsApp. Yes, I will send them. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. This is uh, also the link to your English. You English. Okay, perfect. I will send it to you. Thank you. Bye, Thank you. teacher. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow.